every country has its own culture and its ways to bind people uh, so we decided to do something around the culture and uh, uh, that's how uh, we planned this festival and i'm very honored to be uh, speaking today at the inaugural uh, event of culture cinema 2021 it's a pleasure for unesco to uh, support this uh, initiative uh, the times are difficult as you see in the background that i have uh, chosen to address you particularly for for cinema and i'll have a chance to to mention it but i really want to congratulate you praveen uh, for uh, curating the special platform uh, aiming at uh, showcasing the uh, expression of diverse cultural expressions and uh, creative uh, ingenuity i wish you good luck uh, for the development of this uh, project that's why i wanted to be uh, here with you today we need good stories we need happy you know initiatives in this period all the more because finally the unity of humanity can be portrayed the commonality of issues that people have across nations can be portrayed through cinema and that encourages global citizenship no doubt the world has set itself a mission achieve the 17 UN sustainable development goals by 2030 in Asia and the Pacific, UNESCO and its partners are mobilized to leave no one behind. Every day, in the 46 countries of the region, UNESCO works with its partners to support member states in achieving the SDGs. With its 14 offices and one institute in the region and multiple partner networks, UNESCO has developed programs that have transformed the daily lives of millions of people for more than 70 years. The key to sustainable development is peace, and peace is built first and foremost in the minds of people. That's why UNESCO works vigorously for dialogue, mutual respect, and freedom of expression. It preserves the heritage and cultural expressions that carry our shared values and embody our common future. With its partners, UNESCO currently implements more than 240 programs in Asia and the Pacific, reaching millions of people every day. The challenges are immense and time is short. Join us and let's work together for our shared humanity. Yes, we unfortunately, uh, as we all know very well, the impact of the pandemic on culture and on the global film industry in particular has been uh, immense. Cinema rooms like uh, the one behind me have been empty for probably the longest period of time since cinema was actually invented. We all know cinema. Uh, this is the most powerful tool to, to depict the reality. And also, this is the, this is the most powerful medium to educate to entertain, to empower, and to engage the audience. It actually uh, allows people to come together. It allows uh, exchanges to happen. And if uh, any pressures on the society comes in, uh, the culture is the one single thing that uh, actually brings uh, people out of uh, uh, tough situations. And I think uh, uh, today we are seeing pandemic and, uh, you know, uh, it's the people on the ground who are helping each other uh, and, uh, you know, uh, risking their lives as well. And, uh, you know, it's because of uh, the cultural ethos that we have that people are committed uh, to each other, the neighbors, the community. No doubt that uh, cinema and culture go hand in hand. It's ultimately a reflection of the culture of any country who watch cinema. And, and we all understand that if we want to understand any country and its culture, the best thing is to watch the film from that country. The only way to transform societies is through knowledge and through culture. And if you're able to make knowledge accessible to those who don't otherwise have access to it, that in itself is a great way of bringing about change.
TVH gives children the opportunity to express themselves via camera. Today, on the occasion of uh, the celebration of the World Day for Cultural Diversity for Dialogue and Development, uh, I, I wish, I hope that initiatives like Culture Cinema 2021 will really grow in size and impact. It's only the beginning for, for, for you, but uh, UNESCO will accompany you and uh, we will uh, continue to support endeavors like this one in India and around the world. Protecting the, the diversity of cultural expressions is more important than ever, and I'm sure some of your speakers will outline that today. I certainly want to also thank the other partners that you have uh, for today's uh, event and wish all participants the, the very best as they themselves contribute to move culture and sustainable development. Uh, it's very complex to bring children and uh, alike somewhere in a space where they still can be creative and still be online. And I think uh, Praveen achieved that. And uh, I'm very proud of that achievement to make children more creative. Uh, we're entering a visual world. As you all know, WhatsApp and YouTube are there to enhance all your effort and to see UNESCO backing it up. Nothing like it. I think then it takes a whole international uh, flavor. And I wish I could be there in India with all of you. And uh, it's a wonderful platform for uh, all the participants across the globe. At the Culture Cinema 2021, uh, which is the first year, and I think it's going to have uh, a very long history because uh, uh, there are very few places where uh, these kind of festivals have been done. And I, uh, I'm very confident that uh, uh, the complete enhancement, even of uh, the economy, uh, would happen because of uh, uh, the cultural values and ethos uh, that people have. People would uh, uh, learn the art of uh, uh, self-motivation uh, uh, because of uh, the cultural values. And I think uh, that's the single most thing I always felt uh, would bring people out of tough times. So audiovisual medium's influence on education is also evolving rapidly. So culture, cinema and education all are interrelated in a form and I'm really happy that this is being done. I would encourage my entire community of students, I have around uh, close to 200 students of media here and in my past institutes where I have been, whether it's Symbiosis, Amity or Whistling Woods, I would encourage them to participate in culture cinema because they need to really look at not just popular entertainment but how culture is reflected through cinema. Every day uh, one or two new entries keep coming. Yesterday two entries came. We are already 100 plus films. 27 countries have already participated. Uh, still uh, about a month to go uh, for receiving entries. I'm sure we'll get uh, more uh, people to come and uh, submit their films. I'm sure more talent will be uh, identified uh, in the new course. There'll be much larger participation. Hope that uh, things settle down, the pandemic settle down and in uh, the month of July, when we actually uh, come to the festival dates, we are in a situation to do it in a hybrid manner or a physical manner, uh, instead of just keeping it online and you know uh, engaging remotely with each other. Let us hope for the best as we go ahead. And um, uh, let me thank you, all of you whole wholeheartedly once again for uh, being able to come at uh, this hour of time.